we are given two lines parallel with each other. Let's say this is our first line, which is line M. Our second line, line N, they are parallel with each other. Then cut by a transversal, let's say this is line P. Based on our illustration, we have angles form. We have angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, angle 7, and angle 8. This time, we will identify what pairs belong to alternate interior angles. So when we say alternate interior angles, this is a pair of angles of non-adjacent interior angles on opposite sides of a transversal. So based in our illustration, we have angle 3. That's right here. Angle 3 and angle 6. Another pair of alternate interior angle is our angle 4 and we have angle 5. Next, we are going to identify the alternate exterior angles. So, we define this as a pair of non-adjacent exterior angles on opposite sides of a transversal. Based on our figure, our alternate exterior angle, we have this pair. We have angle 1 is and angle 8. Another pair of exterior angles, we have this angle. We have angle 2 i sorry. Angle 2 and this angle. Angle 7. Next. Let's proceed to same side interior angles. So, same side interior angles, these uh, interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, our first pair we have, let's have angle 4 and angle 6. Another pair of same side interior angles is angle 3 and angle 5. Next, let's proceed to same side exterior angles. So, same side exterior angles, exterior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, let's have this first pair. Angle 2 And angle 8. Another pair of same side exterior angles is angle 1 and angle 7. Next, how about if it is corresponding angles. 
Corresponding angles is a pair of non-adjacent interior and exterior angles. So based in our illustration, our, our first pair, we have angle 1 and angle 5. Another pair of corresponding angle, we have angle 2 and angle 6. Another one, we have, let's use this, angle 3 correspond to angle 7. So, angle 3 and angle 7. Last one, we have angle 4 correspond to angle 8. We have angle 4 and angle 8. 